Welcome to this session on placing doors. So before I start placing my doors, I'm just going to double check that my floor selector is set correctly. So I'm at the ground floor because our doors, again, are gonna be placed on the floor that we have that set to. And of course, make sure my icon locks are locked up here. Then I'm gonna come up to the ribbon and select the door tool. And just like the wall tool, we're now gonna have different catalog items to choose from. And you can see there's a library of different doors there, and there's actually additional doors that can be loaded. But we're going to select this example full glass double for, the, for our entry door here. So it's going to preview what the door looks like in the window here. Notice there's origin points that can be selected or placement points. And so I can just come in the preview and click on the one that I want. So I'm going to select the center origin so I can place it right there at the center of the entry. And then we'll come and set up some of our geometric settings. One I'm going to select here is a front offset. So when we place this in the wall, this will offset you know, our frame. In other words, I'm going to have it recessed into the brick wall. So I'm going to put a two inch offset or 50 millimeters. The other one you'll want to double check is the sense distance. And so this just determines that that door is going to perforate our wall. And so the sense just distance just determines the distance that the perforator will look for elements to, to perforate, essentially. We want to make sure we cut through all the layers of our wall. So we just want to make sure that number is large enough. Essentially, if it's you know approximately the thickness of your entire wall, you, you should be fine. Um, and so I think one foot will be just fine. Our sill height in this case will be zero. So again, sill height on a door, that's just where it is relative to our active ACS, which is our floor plane here. Let's scroll down a little bit here. Uh, the other few dimensions we'll wanna pay attention to, of course, are the width and the height of the door. We're actually gonna change this and we're, gonna, and we're going to put in a width of seven feet for the door. This is an entry door, we're gonna make it rather large. And I'm going to use 9 foot 10 for the overall height of the door. And then there is an option to make the frame depth match the wall. I'm going to check that on. I'll just make our, our frame depth match our wall thickness. And then, of course, we have frame width, which we'll leave at 2 inches. You can do the leaf thickness. We can change the angle of the swing. So it might typically be 90 degrees, but if I'd rather see a 45 degree swing on my doors, certainly can do that. And in fact, you can do it on the 3D. Now, typically you'll want your 3D model of the door to be closed because in an elevation, you want to see that closed. But if you were gonna do a fly through or some kind of animation of your building, you might want to at least temporarily open them up. And so you could actually put that property in there and have your doors open. So again, the, the 2D symbology is separate from the 3D model. The 2D symbology is what will show up on the plan drawings. The um, model is what you'll see in the model, obviously, and typically on an elevation drawing. So I'm going to set those back to zero. And um, well, we can leave the swings at 45. We could also put in a type ID. So for instance, if we want to call this door D1, I could go ahead and put that information in. And you'll see as you go down, there's you know other information could be added, manufacturer's name, model number. And again, we don't have to put all this information in right now. We can continue to add that data as the model becomes more detailed. So now we're going to place it. So you can see I've got the door there on my cursor. I could work here in my isometric view. I could work over here in my top view. Doesn't matter. I'm going to come and first step is to select the wall. So I just, when I see my cursor there on the wall, I'm just going to left click. And then it's going to allow me to slide that door along that wall for placement. And so I'm just going to find the midpoint. So again, you know you're at the midpoint when you see the, the key point snap that's used for the midpoint. 
So when I've got that and I've got the yellow X, I'm going to left click to accept. And now the last point I place determines which way the door swings. Might be easier to see in the top view over here, but whether I would want that to swing in or swing out being a, a major entrance or exit from the building, we're going to want it to swing out. And then I just left click to accept that. And that will place the door. You can see I've still got a door on my cursor. If I had another door to place, I would just keep placing. Or I can right click to reset and I'm finished placing doors. And in the next session, we'll do a very similar exercise and place some windows. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.